GT Countdown. Top 10 System Sellers. No matter how many features a piece of hardware includes or how powerful it is, what ultimately determines its worth is the software available to play on it. Some buy machines based upon potential, but most wait for that one game they simply can't resist. The following titles were just that, releases that rode the hype train straight into our wallets until we were forced to drop the big cash. Number 10. Sonic the Hedgehog. Long before the blue blur was schmoozing human princesses, Sega's iconic mascot was a side-scrolling force to be reckoned with. Prompting the beginning of the great 16-bit war between Sega and Nintendo, Sonic the Hedgehog hit the ground running in 1991 and single-handedly skyrocketed Sega Genesis hardware sales. Thanks to the blue rodent, Sega quickly overthrew the Nintendo juggernaut to take a commanding 65% share of the market. Sonic the Hedgehog's well-deserved success was derived from speed, intricate level design, and a feeling of uneasy familiarity. Number 9. GoldenEye 007. Mario officially kicked off the Nintendo 64 party, but it was 007 who took the Nintendo 64 from curiosity to compulsion. With its split-screen death matches, it sold more extra controllers than Nintendo could have ever imagined. Bond first got his foot in the door with the franchise reboot movie tie-in, but became king of the hill when it showed console shooters could be competitively fun on the couch as well as on a PC. If you owned a Nintendo 64 and were over the age of 12, you owned it because of GoldenEye. Number 8. Super Smash Bros. Melee. Though Luigi's Mansion was a thrill and Sunshine was a splash, it wasn't until Nintendo's second slugfest that the GameCube finally got some much-needed punch. With more than 14 additional mascots over its predecessor and gameplay that can only be described as sheer chaotic fun, Super Smash Bros. Melee helped define console multiplayer gaming in an age when the couch was still king. It's easy to see the influence of this game on hardware sales, as the old purple lunchbox had almost gone flatline before it was released and it remains one of the few reasons people still hold on to the only console ever released with a handle. Even now, the much-coveted WaveBird wireless controller commands a high price simply because people want to smash. Number 7. Pokémon Red and Blue there have been few systems that have dominated minds and markets as much as the original Game Boy, and the Pocket Monsters are primarily to thank. Released in the States almost 10 years after the original Dot Matrix game player landed, Pokemon, both Republican and Democrat versions, helped the system over a hardware hump, combining digital collectability and multiplayer in ways never seen before. Kids had to catch them all, link cables suddenly found their use, and a yellow rat became a rising star. Number 6. Grand Theft Auto 3 The PlayStation 2 was a paragon of game systems, but it didn't have the most electrifying launch. Tech and Tag Tournament and SSX were a blast, but most attribute the strong launch sales of the console to its DVD player. It would take a year for the real hardware mover to arrive, as Grand Theft Auto 3 convinced the masses that Sony's black box was worth owning for far more than watching The Matrix. It took over a year before the game would hit another platform, and the PlayStation brand quickly became synonymous with Rockstar's open-world crime simulator. So we gotta use our heads, or rather one head, your head. Number 5. Halo. In the late 90s, four-player shooters like GoldenEye dominated the living room, while PC players linked up through LANs and online in games like Tribes. These worlds collided when Halo arrived for the original Xbox, letting 16 people play with just four TVs and consoles. Late nights fueled by pizza and beer fostered team play as experienced players coached new friends through the controls, and there was nothing like hearing shouts erupt from the other end of the house when you pulled off a major play. It's hard to imagine the Xbox surviving without Halo, and it undoubtedly represents the closest one-to-one -one software to hardware sales ratio for any game that wasn't a packet. Number 4. Final Fantasy VII When the Final Fantasy series left Nintendo, throngs of RPG fans had no choice but to follow their franchise to Sony's new CD-based platform. 
Cloud's Popeye-esque forearms may stick out today, but at the time, the game's polygon graphics and CG cutscenes were top of the line, and there was only one place to experience them. The PlayStation had been out for three years and had already birthed a bevy of franchises, but no one could have foreseen the rush of this three-disc behemoth. The system was running close to the Nintendo 64 up until this point, but once Final Fantasy VII was released, it was all over but the crime. Number 3. Tetris A classic among classics, the endless block stacking action of Tetris had universal appeal, and its presence as a pack-in for the original Game Boy was a huge factor in moving the $90 portable system. Parents liked it as much as kids, and the competitive battery life meant you could stack and stack until your fingers went numb. The series continued to move hardware through the years from handhelds to mobile phones, but without it, the Game Boy never would have become the sensation that it did. Number 2 Wii Sports The Wii set so many sales records that they're almost impossible to keep track of. And beyond the Mario, Zeldas, and Metroids, what really showcased its new brand of motion control was Wii Sports. The game single-handedly took console gaming out of the hands of a few and into the hands of many. Wii Bowling Nights took over retirement houses all over the world, and plucky kids and teens suddenly found their parents right alongside them, whacking a tennis ball or swinging for the fences. The relatively anemic software sales for the Wii since are proof enough that many people bought the system solely to get their Wii Sports fix. Dad! Number 1 Super Mario Brothers If we had broken up all the Super Mario games, they would have completely dominated this countdown, so we decided to lump all of them into one entry at the well-deserved spot as the top system seller. Debuting in 1981 in the arcade classic Donkey Kong, Nintendo's mascot was at one point more recognizable to U.S. children than Disney's Mickey Mouse, and he's still one of the most well-known faces in the industry today. Mario has been working some major overtime during his career, helping propel numerous Nintendo systems such as the NES, Super NES, N64, GBA, and DS into the sales chart stratosphere with elegant simplicity, while also routinely causing spikes in console sales with releases including Super Mario Bros. 3, New Super Mario Bros., and Super Mario Galaxy. No franchise has moved consoles like Nintendo's portly plumber.